100 years ago today, Congress passed the 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote. But it took Georgia a lot longer to get on board. UGA grad and former Georgia Senator William J. Harris was the only senator from the South to vote in support of votes for women. The constitutional amendment had to have the support of 36 states to become law. On June, July 24, 1919, Georgia became the first state to reject the amendment. It took a full year for enough states to ratify the 19th Amendment in 1920. Tennessee was the 36th to agree to finally make it into law. Most women across the country were allowed to vote in the 1920 presidential election, won by Warren G. Harding. But not in Georgia. Our state kept fighting against it. The state cited a rule that required voters to register six months before an election. Most other states just waived that rule. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't until 1922 that women here in Georgia could vote in national elections. And one interesting piece of trivia for you, Georgia didn't formally accept the 19th Amendment until 1970. That's 18,083 days after it became federal law.